squeeze that in, and then hammer it on. I'm remodeling this manufactured home, uh, and uh, as part of my kind of dining area, I decided to just grab this uh, outdoor furniture, but they're these cool molded, I don't know, from the 60s, 70s, I guess, chairs. And um, I got, most of them had the, the feet kind of rotted away, the little pads, and they were kind of gone. You can see a couple of them are still pretty, pretty bad. And uh, I replaced most of them, but then uh, I was almost done and decided, you know, I probably should have done a little video. These are the ones that ended up being closer to the original, where, let's see, this one over here, a little bit small, they're brass, and so I thought I'd point them out just in case you're going to do something on your own using these kind of pipe, uh, mid-century pipe furniture if you're going to do something on your own. We're going to replace this one right here that's got some, uh, you know, some damage. And I've already replaced uh, two others, and this is another one that's in kind of in bad shape. Now these are the ones I bought. I bought two packs of these swivel locks, which actually turn out to be the closest let me see, to what uh, to what was on there. Okay, and I mentioned that because I also bought these, which are smaller. Let's see if I can. All right, so I ended up putting them on that chair with one left. That's one of the originals, and I, I was thinking maybe I might end up just going ahead and, and doing that there. In my case, these, these vintage uh, swivel locks are the ones to go with these chairs. All right, and these other ones, this, and I think the other one brand was Franklin's. Those are a smaller ones. All of them are 5 eighths diameter, so this this diameter is 5 eighths. On eBay there was 5 eighths, I think uh, one inch, one and a quarter inch. So for this particular uh, thing, which I'm not even sure, here's the model. These are 5 eighths, but uh, the process is the same. So I'll just uh, show you what I did to get them off. So inside these, uh, inside all these glides, there's a U-shaped clip with these wings that come out that grab on the inside of the tube of the chair. And in every case, I had to go in there and kind of squeeze those together to be able to hammer it on. They say to install this by just getting this on and hammering this, but I was, and I, I did it on a couple occasions, but I was always worried it was going to bend it. So I ended up, at a, on a couple of them, hammer, putting a screwdriver against this little shoulder and then going around and gently, oops, sorry, uh, gently, you know, hitting that in quite, you know, quite hard, taking some good swing. Unfortunately, somebody drilled holes in the middle, which I guess is all right because, you know, maybe there would have been a stain for them being outside, but it's a little kind of a bummer. Um, but again, this has the...